All right, so it's that time of the year again when we get some survey skins to take a look at. So just in case you don't know about these, basically Epic Games sends some surveys out and you look at them, they show you a bunch of skins and you get to decide which ones you like or don't like. And then they use all that data to bring the skins into the game. But what we've come to expect with these is that we can anticipate a lot of them to be in the item shop, to be in the battle pass, to be secret skins, or even crew pack skins. Chances are most, if not all of these, will come to the game eventually. So there's only 35 this time, so I'll be going through all of them and giving my opinions. Now I just wanted to mention something, I'm pulling these off of Fortnite.gg and they have them ranked by player votes. So the order I do these in are the order that the community has ranked them from best to worst. Now I don't agree with a lot of these, especially the first one, but I just wanted to let you know the order that I'm doing these is apparently how everyone in the community thinks they're ranked, from best to worst. And you'll notice a reoccurring theme as we go through these. So here we go, number one. And this is why I definitely disagree with the rankings so far. What in the world is this? I showed this to my son. In fact, I showed all these to my son and he laughed so hard at this skin. So I'm not even sure what it is. It looks like some kind of dog with butter or syrup on his head and he's literally made out of that as well. It kind of reminds me of a dog version of man cake, but just bizarre and strange, unique, I'll give it that, but very weird. And apparently that was the highest rated skin out of all 35, there's no way. Next up is this vicious samurai looking female skin. I actually really, really enjoy this. The only drawback in my opinion is that little headpiece she has that gives her ears. Everything else, beautiful. I love the menacing shoulder guard she has and the color scheme is great. All right, well this is a peculiar one. So it appears to be a cat, but it's got one of those hoods where you can't see the inside of the face with glowing eyes. Now, in addition, it appears to have two tails and then a robotic hand. And it looks like he's got some casual clothing on. So I don't know what to make of this. Okay, apparently we've got a lot of animals in this survey as well. So this looks like a crow. And if that's the wrong bird, I apologize. But to me, it looks like a crow. I guess a crow samurai, maybe. Now, obviously we've had bird skins before, but none as realistic as this. In the face, I mean. Yeah, it looks like a human body, but that face literally looks like a bird. And we've never really had that as far as I can remember. I guess I'll just have to see some gameplay, but this is ranked a little too high in my opinion. Okay, another beautiful color scheme. Three of my favorite color schemes mixed together are red, white, and black, and this is why. Look how beautiful that color scheme is. If you could take the horns away on this one, top-notch skin. I think those horns just take away from the skin a little bit. Moving on, we got yet another almost devil looking skin. What's with all the horns? Every time we do these surveys, there's tons of skins with devil horns. Why is that? This one is a little bit out there to me just because her skin is that weird red devil color. And then of course the horns as well. I think if she had normal human skin and not bright red, it would be a little better. But again, we'll just have to wait and see how she plays in game. All right, we got another animal skin. I'm not very good when it comes to animals, but this either looks like a panther or a jaguar. Someone let me know in the comments. I'm sure someone's gonna correct me if I say the wrong thing. So I'm gonna put it out there that it's either one of those. It looks like a low key skin all around, but they did go with yellow and that's gonna contrast with the black a little bit and make him pop. So I don't know, that's not too bad. Oh man, another animal. So this is a samurai raccoon. And man, oh man, is he ripped. Look at those biceps. Hulk Hogan, eat your heart out. So he's got scars all over. I do like the color scheme there. That purple looks real sharp. But if you're not a fan of animal skins, you're gonna absolutely hate this one. With that said, he does look pretty intimidating. An animal samurai. Where's his sword though? Okay, here we go. This is a pretty decent skin. Love that blue hair. Again, I kind of get samurai vibes here. She's got the armor for a samurai. I don't know if a lot of people are gonna like the outfit. She's got that skirt on and then the teal jacket. It's kind of like a mix of a school uniform with a samurai gear. Oh my goodness, what is this? I don't know if that's a koi fish or some kind of goldfish that's not actually orange, but that is some kind of fish with the big fishy tail, the fishy feet, and a literal flopper face. But once again, what do we got here? A samurai theme. And the robe is actually beautiful. That color scheme looks really, really crisp. Massive shoulder guard though, look how big that is. Interesting. Okay, well at least this is a real person this time, but 
it's a frog themed person, if you will. And it does look like a pretty decent character model. I just hope you can take the hat off. Overall though, pretty decent. Okay, another animal skin. The hat right away reminds me of Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat. Looks like this character could take it off and throw it as a weapon. But the ears protrude right through it. Again though, the color scheme, amazing. The armor looks pretty good too. Since it is some kind of cat, it almost looks like a Siamese cat, doesn't it? So lots of good color schemes, but also lots of animals and tails and ears and horns, I guess, too. Moving right along, we've got, I don't know, this is like a half female, half bird. You can see she's got claws on one of her hands and there's a lot of feathers, but then the other hand is normal. Yeah, I want to say this is a half bird lady, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Again, though, color scheme, awesome. That red is very, very clean mixed with the darker colors. I could see this being like a starter pack skin or something like that. Here we go, a human with a mask on, two swords. Pants are a little bulky, but the jacket's pretty nice. An overall low key skin. I think it's ranked appropriately about the middle of the pack. Ah, here we go, now this one I like. That nice white color scheme mixed with a little bit of gold. She's got an eye patch as well. Mm. So once again, we've got the devilish horns claws on this skin, some MC Hammer pants going on, and blue, almost ghostly skin. I like that the pants are red and black, but everything else about the skin, uh, I don't know. It looks like it could be extremely animated as well. Wow, so this one looks really good. I'm not sure why this is ranked so lowly. Color scheme looks pretty good. It's almost like a chrome effect on the white areas, and then it's meshed with that nice teal color. This is actually pretty good. I wonder what people dislike about this. Character model looks pretty good. Okay, this one's pretty decent as well. Love that light blue mixed with the black color scheme. Now the hood has some ears on it, so I could do without that, but everything else looks really good. I kind of get Sub-Zero vibes here. And of course there's samurai tones to it as well. Not bad. Oh man. Well, we got another animal skin here wearing Chuck Taylors. This guy looks chill and mean. So it's got tattoos on its fur. That's kind of weird. And look at its tail. It's got piercings on it. What the heck? Just a casual looking, intimidating animal skin. That's for sure. Okay, so now we have a strawberry themed skin and she's got strawberry ears. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I do enjoy the color scheme and the green visor is a nice little touch to it. I'll be interested to see what this looks like in game. Oh man, I really want to like this one. I love this character model and I love what they've got going on here with the color scheme, but I'm not sure what that blue is in the back. I thought it was her hair, almost like a Super Saiyan 3 hairdo, but then I see the brown hair in the front. So if that's her hair, then what's the blue stuff? I guess it just depends on what that is. Someone let me know. What do you think that is? Because again, you can see her real hair in the front, but I like this. I like this one a lot. All right, look at this. We got a toon version of the dummy skin. So I already really love the dummy skin. It's got two great styles, the yellow one and the silver one. And now to have the cartoon black and white one, that'd be pretty good. No complaints for this. Now this, on the other hand, complaints galore. What is this? It looks like something you'd see at the foot of your bed in the middle of the night to scare you to death. It's got almost a candy cane theme going on with samurai garb, the sandals, devil horns, and a weird tongue. I don't even know what this is. It kind of looks like a Yeti, but I honestly have no idea. It's just terrifying and I think this should be ranked way way lower if you want to creep your friends out run this skin for sure okay I like this one very very clean skin again samurai vibes kung lao vibes from mortal kombat once again this looks like a true intimidating samurai well this one is certainly interesting it looks like she's got pajamas on but there is yet again another devil reference what is with all the devils she also has skulls and bones on her shorts there. I don't know what to make of this. Some of her hand is black and red as well, and her eyes are red like the devil. Too many devil themes, I think. I don't know what's going on here with all this. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of this. What is she dressed as here? Okay, I'll be honest. First thing I thought of when I saw this is some kind of train conductor. I don't know why. Everything about this skin looks like she would be on a train. It looks like she's got some kind of tickets or papers shoved in her hat. I've never seen anyone dress like this before, so someone let me know in the comments, what is she supposed to be dressed as? It looks like a fairly decent skin though. Oh my. This is a tale of two stories here. Top half, phenomenal. Absolutely amazing top half there. I love the character model. I love that outfit. 
I love that unique color scheme, and I love whatever she has around her hair. It's like a do-rag. Everything below, yikes. I don't know if she's dressed in some kind of animal suit, or if she's literally half animal, half human. But there's the, but the obnoxious orange-yellow color scheme, puke, that looks terrible. And then the big furry feet, I hope there's a way to make her all the way human or take that costume off because top half of that skin is amazing. All right, look at this, DJ Fish Stick. I'm actually surprised. This is ranked really, really low. This is in the bottom tier. Kind of looks like the DJ Yonder skin mixed with Fish Stick. Okay, here we go. A true female samurai skin bundled up nicely. Love that blue color scheme mixed with the black. A little bit of silver in there. Two katanas as well. That's pretty decent. I'm not sure why this is ranked so low. And this guy as well. Why is he so low on the rankings? I don't see much wrong with this skin. I love the white, almost arctic color scheme. The jacket looks like it's chromed as well. He's got some purple goggles on. Maybe it's the hair people don't like. I don't know. I think it gives a nice flair to this skin. And then he's got that white mask pulled up as well. This is definitely not a bottom tier skin. I don't know what's going on here. What? Why is this so low? This looks amazing. This 100% is a remix of the Siren skin. She's got like a Dracula cape going on, but look at the color scheme. The nice white mixed with the black mixed with the red. I would say this is top five so far that I've seen. Okay, this is appropriately ranked. What is this? It looks like Hulk Hogan mixed with a red slurp devil. Again, the devil theme in full force, the horns, the red skin, the fire coming out of the hands. He's got like tiger color schemed pants. What the heck is this? Okay, well, this is an interesting skin. I'm not sure what's going on on his shoes. The blue spiky things are very strange. He's got like a winter jacket and a beanie on. I honestly don't think it's that bad of a skin. I would probably have put this in the middle of the pack. Definitely not near the end because this is better than some of those animal skins or even that red Hulk Hogan we just saw, but it's not that bad. Okay, so this is ranked second to last in the ratings. Could do without the crazy bell-bottom pants and the Michael Jackson jacket going on, and then he's got a mohawk that's pink. The more I look at this, I don't know, I think it could actually be a decent skin in game. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like. But clearly the community does not like this. It's ranked 34 out of 35. And here we go, the very, very last ranked skin. What the heck is this? It looks like Marty McFly from Back to the Future mixed with Pinocchio. I could totally see this being reactive. Every elimination, the nose grows longer like Pinocchio. Imagine getting pieced by this guy, holy smokes. So there you go, those were all 35 ranked by the community from best to worst. Please tell me you don't agree with these rankings. Some of them were really good, some of them were really bad. Some of them were just mid, but I feel like these rankings were all messed up. So there you go. The highlight is that apparently there's going to be some kind of samurai theme coming in the future. So I'm not sure if any of these are coming out in the near future, but eventually some of these will make it into the game. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.